Welcome back to Morgan's video blog with writing tips from the pros and of course my own writerly musings. Today I'm here with what writers dream of. Writers as a bunch are dreamers. Sure, some of us might have nights full of terrors or homicides of people who ticked us off during the day, while others dream of cotton candy trees and the validation we've always wanted. Hmm. Uh, but we take the random what ifs, thoughts, and make believe characters in our heads and we have stories and worlds from them or for them. Some of our writing is taken literally from our dreams, and sometimes our daydreaming creates the framework. But for fiction to happen, we have to step outside of dictating reality and put our own spin on it. On the flip side, there are things we writers dream of doing with our stories. Some of us dream big, becoming a bestseller on all the charts, not just some obscure Amazon sub, 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 sub genre. Having TV and movie producers go into bidding wars for the rights to our work. Um, seeing our favorite actors playing out the scenes we created with set designers bringing our worlds to life. Some of us dream medium getting an agent and then published through a traditional publisher or making an indie name for ourselves with a decent following, selling enough that after we pay off a mortgage, woof, um, we can quit our day jobs and still afford health insurance, being a paid speaker at all the cool cons, not just a volunteer speaker at them, having lines of people who we don't actually know show up at our book launches and signing tables. And some of us dream small, I mean, achievable with effort <laughs> dreams, finishing the book and getting it out there any way that does justice to the story. Having someone we don't know tell us they liked it and being able to afford a dinner out once a month with the profits and maybe even break even with the cover artist or editor. And some of us just dream of finishing the darn thing. Are you a writer? What are your dreams? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'll be back again next week with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.